Okay, so that actually turned into a defeat for me because um, these slingers came up and I got hit with a couple of volleys of their stones and my men chain routed. That is very strange. But in any case, um, I guess the barbarians win that round. I'll give them one since I defeat them so often. And not to mention, I think I actually killed more people than they did, so they can call it a victory right, if they want. Here we are, here we are. Um, let's just get Ready revenge on the barbarians for what they just pulled. I'm going to uh, sail this ship yes, over Captain. here. Out of move, sir. We've probably got a little bit of an army in this city. Oh, man, it's not much of one. Good gracious. Uh, so let's see, recruitments. How come I can't retrain my troops that are here? Oh, that's the army that's on my ships. My bad. I thought I was in the town here. Army. Yep, I got plenty of army here. And we will use that to go exact our revenge on the uh, barbarian scum. And let's see if I have any cavalry in the neighborhood. Nope. Oh well, I don't need any cavalry, I'll just take a bunch of... Well, I probably do need cavalry to be honest because I'm going to have all those uh, stupid slingers harassing me. I wonder if I can train any cavalry up here. I sure can. Let's uh, train a couple of units of Pedromoy there. Let's see, is there any other cavalry I can rush up to the engagement? I have yes, a unit of allied cavalry here. I can take them all the way up to the docks. Alright, that should work out. So we'll get our little army together for revenge. And sweet revenge it will be. Uh, let's see, the Persians have some leftover troops here. They're probably going to make a run on Babylonia. Let's see, I'll go ahead and train a couple more units here. Looks like we might need some defense for behind the lines. And Alexander's army should be ready to move on out now. Everybody has been retrained, and I have a small garrison to keep the city. Attack! So we'll move on to the, the next city here. Sir. There we go. And we only have a couple of cities left that have to be conquered. One of them's right here, one of them's right here, and then the very last one is back here in Bactria. So we only have three cities left that have to be conquered. And that's where I will focus Alexander's attention. I need to go back here and pick up one of my armies that I was using to do some of my peripheral, uh, peripheral conquering and uh, move them on up as well so that we can uh, get on with business. And that would be this army here. Let's go ahead and start marching them towards Babylon, and we'll get them moving. And I will take them towards India while Alexander takes a more northerly route. Let's see if there's any troops I can train that can meet up with them when they get here. really want cavalry, but none of these cities are capable of training cav. This one is. There we go. I'll train some allied cav to meet up with them here. Of course, that army already had a lot of cav, but oh well. That'll be my massive blob of cavalry army. Oh wow, the Persians actually have um, a sizable force outside of Karmana. Of course, most of their units are absolute trash. They've got two units of immortals, which are, like, nice trash. And some heavy Bactrian Cav. Those are good units. So anyway, this ought to be a fun fight. Right, you can see ahead of me the, uh, the Persian armies in disarray, as usual. And they'll be in disarray when the battle's over, so I guess it doesn't really matter. Here's some Mardian archers down the center. Here's some of their uh, Barkanian horsemen. Some crappy Kartikes. I love Kartikes are like really typical of what you would expect in a real life Persian army. Like absolutely trash light spear units with terrible shields and terrible weaponry. And the Persians really thrived, I think, on. Um, some more of their mercenary units, if you were looking for quality. And um, I'm sure they had, like, uh, the Immortals were supposed to be better trained, of course. Uh, how effective they were, I don't really know. I haven't read a whole lot of their history. Um, I'm sure the Persians had some, uh, some decent cavalry, and I think um, when they used, like, Greek mercenary commanders and stuff, it's probably when they actually uh, had more potent commanding skills. I don't know. I haven't, I, re I haven't read into a whole lot of their history, but just considering the fact that they got um, pwned by 
Alexander the Great and other Greeks uh, in history, my guess is going to be that they were not the, uh, the best tactical thinkers. And they're trying to run down my um, cavalry with their spears, which is typical. So I just need to keep my um, two groups of cavalry away from their spear troops that are chasing me. I'm using groups to uh, uh, to control my movement, except for my infantry. I'm just gonna kind of let them sit still and do their thing since they're phalanx troops. Let's see. My Alexander unit was um, attacking these uh, Barcadian horsemen here. I'll go ahead and continue that attack. See, where's my group three cav? All spread out all over the place. There we go. Now Alexander's in my uh, my group number two here that I keep selecting, and I have such a large mass of cavalry that I'm just using them to uh, pretty much run over all the enemy troops in the area, whether they're spear troops or not. Doesn't even seem like my men are responding to my commands. Yo, Alexander, I'm talking to you. Here we go. I wanted to sandwich up all those spear troops and get rid of them. There's some Ardian archers. Let's see. Weird. My cavalry almost acted like they weren't responding to my commands in this battle. It's kind of strange. Well, let's see. There's a regrouped unit of Barcadian horsemen back here I'm going to have to deal with. Anyway, this battle's pretty much over. I'll just catch you on the results screen. This is a heroic victory. There's the results of that battle. Great soldiers. Alexander the Great, easily Another, victorious. Uh, Population to exterminate. So, more money in the coffers there, so that we can maintain a larger military force. And since this campaign is all about, um, basically lightning speed, I'm not really worried about the results that that's going to have on a long-term economy. Alrighty. That Persian army looks like it's, um, moving back further behind my lines. That's some of their troops that got caught behind the lines, basically. Looks like there's a storm over here around Susa. Let's go see if we can uh, use this army to to push back that um, annoying rebel force. And over here, I needed to gather up my troops uh, on the ship. So let's get my ship into port. We're going to use these, of course, to go get revenge on those uh, barbarian filth bags um, that had their invincible slingers to use against me. This time they uh, won't be so lucky. And just for fun, I'd be willing to bet just about anything that when I get back to the barbarian city, I'll bet you 10 bucks that their slingers chain route on the first charge of my cavalry, and that probably. The only reason uh, that my army yes, routed was that the computer was just trying to give me a hard time. Destroy them! Alright. It's giving these rebel troops better chances than they should have because they have a rebel general. I'm tempted to auto resolve this battle here. I think I'm going to. Alright. I'll let that army rest for a while. They've uh, done quite a bit of work for me. I'll just make sure that... Yeah, I don't want it on auto-build recruit. Just um, auto-manage on the construction. Alright, so we now pretty much control almost everything on the western side of the map. We still have that Caucasus area, or Sarmatia as it's called on this map. And Alexander is just cruising right along. Let's see, we need to see if we can... We're not going to be able to retrain anything in this town because this town has nothing. 
So we'll get a couple of uh, simple buildings started for him, and then I'll let the computer take it from there. And rather than worrying about retraining, we'll just go ahead and march forward with Alexander. And since this is one of the cities that needs to be conquered, I'm going to take Alexander to all the cities that um, that have to have uh, that have to be conquered in order to complete the campaign. Let's see. I need some troops to garrison this city, but you can't train any troops there, so I will lend troops from this city here. And we don't need to worry about leaving too much of a garrison. If the Persians come back and take it, then I'll simply take it back from them. And I'm just going to bypass this Persian city for now, even though there's a huge army there. If they want to come out and fight me, I'd be willing to fight, though. Alright, let's go ahead and end this turn and see what happens. Alright, sweet. Carmana is rioting. Uh, they'll quit rioting as soon as I get done building a couple of these uh, structures that'll improve the happiness in the city. And I could change my capital to Babylon as well, and that might increase the happiness in some of these far-stretching cities. But I'll, I'll wait till a little later, because I, I just don't think that I really have to do that right now. Let's keep Order. my troops marching in here. Destroy them! Out of move, sir! And what else do we have going? Oh yeah, I'm gonna gather up my ships. Or gather up my troops keep in this. Ready. Ship here. Let's see. Order. These two units of horse. My lord. Ready. Yes, captain. All right. My lord. Order. So that'll take another turn. Onward. Sometimes Onward. revenge takes too long for my liking on campaign. And let's see. Yes, Stratagos. Alexander can go ahead and move now. Back. Besieging settlement, sir. Maintain the siege. The six, sir. All right, and we are conquering, or at least about to conquer, yet another province. It's on Alexander's hit list. Move, huh? That's awesome. Carmana just revolted. So I guess Alexander's gonna have to go down there and uh, teach them another lesson. Yes, Stratagon. Prepare for battle. Part of the lesson I'll teach them is um, simply by just besieging this city. I'm gonna go ahead and auto resolve that and just take the city. I need a place to uh, retrain my troops. Holy man! There's a couple of gigantic Dahe armies out here. <laughs> wow. Uh, I guess the barbarians have been busy. If by busy I mean busy breeding like rabbits. Holy crap! That is insane. So I need to. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna retrain my troops uh, and go ahead and start some buildings. I'm gonna do a little bit of manual work here on that city I just conquered, as the, it's having some uh, yes, anger management lost. problems. Uh, let's see, and I better keep training some some troops to uh, to help me out here in Persepolis because the Persians have a large army. Plus, um, Karmana just revolted. And I'll keep my uh, my alternate army moving in that direction, and this yes, army will grow boss. along the way. Destroy them. Oh, what are you scared Glorious of? I, you're so tough, Rebel General. You were, like, threatening a whole city, but you, you run away. And look, there's so many Rebels that the Rebels even have reinforcements here. And what's best is that they're saying that the Rebels um, have the edge in this fight. Now, I'm not going to show you this fight, because fighting the Rebels is ridiculous, so I'll see you back in the As you can see, I defeated the Rebels so badly that the computer is offering to give me a general. And he has quite a few command stars, so I'm glad to accept. So I'm kind of glad that the Rebels stayed there and tried to act yes, like they cool. weren't spineless, pants-urinating cowards, uh, because it really just ended up helping me in the end. So, quite good, quite good. So I'm going to take my troops into the city here and retrain them uh, so that I have, you know, uh, full units. And I will use them to help defeat the Persians uh, down around Persephone. But basically I'm just training enough troops in Persephone that if the Persians decide to get aggressive, that I can, like, bottleneck them on the town square or something and um, use phalanx units and stuff to slaughter their entire army. Which I'm sure some of you have done before. 
Let's see, how's my construction going down? Oh, we haven't even started it yet. Anyway, let's go ahead and end the turn. See if that massive uh, armies of Dahe decide to do anything. And they did not. Uh, let's see, do we have Plague? Nope, Flash Flood, Scythia. Yeah. Yeah, see, I don't even find myself being bothered by that. It's just stupid Scythia. No one likes them anyway. So, let's, um... Let's uh, go ahead and move our boats over here into the Caucasus. Drop the troops yes, off. No and move. get our Sir. sweet revenge on Scythia. It looks like uh, slaughtering Dahe is going to be fun. As they have like an innumerable host of um, trash troops. Alright, we can now retrain a few troops. And uh, hoplites and high pass best. So I don't need to build the militia barracks. I might build a stables though while I'm here. See if I can retrain some of my cab. Of course that'll take quite a few turns. I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually end up staying there that long. We'll see. But I can at least retrain my hoplites for the time being. And let's see. Seems like I have a few troops left to retrain here. I do. Let's go ahead and take care of that. Of course, that's just my general and a unit of Hypaspis. Or, um, sorry, phalanges that I'm not going to take with me. Yeah, I'm going to leave them to garrison the city. And leave the high pass there. That should be a good enough army. Let's go ahead and start uh, marching down towards Karmana, where the uh, Persians have holed themselves up. Maybe they're trying to make a last great stand there. I'm not really sure. Ships ready. All right, so we need to end another turn. Uh, Babylon's rioting now. I guess they missed the army that was staying there with them. If they want, though, I can um, train more troops to be their angry overlords, if that's what makes them happy. And they must have damaged my barracks in the process, because I can't seem to recruit any infantry. Or there we go. on the auto-manage, because I don't feel like dealing with them. Oh, big surprise, another gigantic rebel army outside my city. And it looks like these Scythians are making a run for my cities in Asia Minor, which is annoyingly expected. Let's see, looks like I can retrain some troops here. Recruit a couple units of allied cavalry. That way if I have to deal with these Scythian troops, it shouldn't be too bad. Basically just get all my cities in the area with a decent garrison. Alright. But this, yes, ought to, um, this ought to interest the Scyth uh, Scythians into coming back home. Because my army is about to get off the boat and um, utterly and completely destroy their capital city. And this time I'm not going to waste a lot of time sieging. Like I did last time, I tried to siege their city out. This time I'm just going to assault them on the next turn because they had their chance to uh, surrender. And they didn't take it. And sure, I guess it was kind of brave of them. But uh, more foolish is what I would call it. It looks like the remainder of those Persians are making a run for Karmana as well. I think they want to make their big stand there. That's fine. They can all die at the same time. It just makes things convenient for me, to be honest. Oh, and I forgot that I had even more cavalry um, waiting in Persephone for my men. So I'll take a couple more units of that allied cav. So now I have a huge number of cav in that army. That's good, though. It'll be good for running over like all these light units. Hey, look! The Scythians! Uh, they're turning around to come try and save their city. You know what's going to be great, though? is um, this time they're too late <laughs> so goodbye Scythia you're finished oh oh yeah well YouTube you always hear me saying why I hate auto resolve let that be a great example you have to be kidding me yeah well I'm not done yet I'm going to recruit um, all the mercenaries that I can, 
And next time, I won't give them the privilege of having me auto-resolve. Honestly, what troops did... Uh, never mind. That's what I get for auto-resolving. I'm so angry right now, I can hardly think. Oi. Now you all wonder why I don't play Rome Total War as much anymore. <laughs> Stuff like that just drives me crazy. Well, let's go ahead and end another turn. I hope the Scythians come attack my depleted army up there, because I'm going to show you again, if I haven't already showed you like 50 times, how stupid the auto-resolve is. I had better troops, I had a bunch of troops, and yet somehow the barbarians put up a miraculous defense? I think not. Destroy them! Besieging settlements, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! And it looks like the uh, Scythians are consolidating their troops in the south. I guess they're feeling um, good after their big victory. Their cheap victory. Stupid rebels. Gosh dang, man. I'm sick of my city being Destroy angry. Them. No, don't run away. Victory. You're so tough. You're rebels. Destroy you think you're great. Them. Probably shouldn't use the auto resolve. I'm lucky I uh, won that. Glorious victory! There. Gosh dang, these rebels are stupid. Like uh, flies. They're everywhere and they're annoying. Yeah, of course, now I'm just straight up irritated. Stupid Scythians. Can't wait to like, exterminate the remainder of their population. Alrighty. Let's see how Alexander's doing up here. Part of me wants to just go ahead and go out and face these armies of Dahe. But, um, well, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and do that once I train a couple of troops to garrison the city. Let's go ahead and end the turn. I'm going to wait this city out down here in Carmana. Alright, the Scythians are coming to attack me. Let's see what they have. Um, they really have nothing special in their army, and I have quite a bit of cavalry left, even though the computer cheated me out of a couple of units. I'm pretty sure I can easily win this battle. Alright, we are here on the battle map where the, according to the auto-resolve, the invincible armies of Dahe are upon me. And whatever am I going to do... Let's just see exactly how um, how tough these uh, armies of Dahe are. Uh, something must be wrong with my game. Like, must be a glitch or some kind of malfunction because there's their units are routing. But according to the auto resolve, these guys were like invincible. So I, I don't really know what's happening. I'm a little confused right now. So um, yeah. Again, I'm not really sure what's happening. Somehow my troops are, um, are winning the fight thus far. Of course, my cavalry just got caught up on a bunch of their infantry. Lucky my general didn't die. And of course, the barbarian warlord is successfully attacking. Or, never mind, there he routes. Oh, what? What? The enemy general died? I, th I thought he was like some kind of... Um, I thought he was some kind of god on earth um, with his ultimate power. I, I don't know what's going wrong here. I just... I, I don't understand. I didn't think that the armies of Dahe could be defeated. So uh, I'm a little confused, to be honest, and I'm, I'm gonna have to ask CA if there's something wrong with my game. Because the auto-resolve said that me, me winning this was, like, utterly impossible. So yeah, I I'm confused. Oh wait, here come some of those invincible tribal slingers that we had seen before. Oh, that's weird, they routed too. I I'm really confused, I don't know what's happening in this battle. I, I could have sworn I was supposed to lose this. Well, hopefully, hopefully I can uh, have enough troops left to still win this battle. We'll see what happens. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that maybe the computer has like some kind of secret attack or, or something they're saving. Like, they're just tricking me into thinking I'm winning. Because remember, that, that much smaller Scythian army um, handily defeated my troops. 
So you would think this much larger Scythian army, like they're just they're just saving something for the end here, I'm sure. So any any minute now we can expect all of my troops to rout. So I hope you all aren't getting sick of my um, sarcasm because um, I'm definitely not through dishing it out. Now there is one more uh, enemy general on the battlefield. Right now I'm uh, marching my hoplites towards him. I'm gonna run my um, my cavalry up to the top of the hill and then do a downhill charge on him. Because if anything is going to actually be a secret weapon for the computer, it's going to be this general's bodyguard. And so we're going to mob it from all directions. And that general is now dead. Or he, at least he should be. He's still alive. The enemy king lies dead at your feet. So now is the time to strike hard at his grieving. There goes a, uh, another Scythian king, and um, again, something something must be wrong and with my game because the the invincible Scythian army is routing before me, and that's after after the auto resolve dealt me a massive um, undeserved defeat. So. Um, Hopefully uh, this will once again demonstrate how fantastic the auto-resolve is. It never does anything unfair. Ever. Um, ever. And so you should just always use the auto-resolve because it's just much more accurate than if you actually play the battle as yourself. Uh, hopefully you've enjoyed some of my sarcasm here. I think I'm done. I'm going to chase down the remainder of these filthy Scythians and murder them. And then I'm going to exterminate the populace in their capital. And uh, that should be the end of the plague upon mankind that was once known as Scythia. So I hope you enjoyed the battle. See you back on Lucky for me there, like I said, my game malfunctioned, and I was able to win that absolutely impossible battle.